Hey, Owen here, and in this video I'm going to talk about paint types and their uses for brush painting scale models. Okay, so first let's look at the advantages of acrylics. Acrylics are water-based paints, which means they're less toxic than some alternatives, making them safer for younger modelers. They're also lower odour, which means they can be used in less well-ventilated areas. As they are water-based, they can be thinned by simply adding water, although acrylic thinning products are available. Acrylics have a fast curing time, usually about an hour, meaning you can paint multiple coats in a day. Brush cleaning is also very easy. Just swirl the brush in some water with a splash of soap. However, acrylics also have their disadvantages. Acrylics don't bond well to smooth surfaces and this effect occurs. To help avoid the problem, wash all the parts in warm soapy water before assembly. If the acrylic paint is still not sticking, the surface may need to be lightly sanded with a very fine sandpaper or have a coat of primer or enamel paint applied. The fast drying time can also be a disadvantage as the paint can dry with brush stroke marks still present. It also makes them difficult to blend to achieve my mottling or airbrushed effect as I did on my FW190 or Panzer IV. Once the paint has dried it becomes waterproof and this means it can't be removed without sanding which may cause damage to the model if not done carefully. Okay, so another type of paint commonly used by modelers is oil-based enamel paint. Let's look at its disadvantages. So the first thing to notice about enamel paint is the smell. It should only be used in well-ventilated areas as the fumes have been linked to health problems. As they are oil-based, they have to be thinned with enamel thinners or white spirit, which also smell and are toxic. Brushes must be cleaned in white spirit to remove the paint, and it may help to wash them again in soapy water to remove any residue. Curing time is an issue for some, as for enamel paint to cure fully, it can take around 24 hours, especially when thinned. You have to be very careful when applying any further oil-based solutions over the top of enamel, as it can remove the previous coat of paint. However, enamel paint also has its advantages. Enamel paint sticks well even to smooth surfaces and is hard wearing, meaning it won't accidentally chip off once dry properly. The slow drying time means that the paint has time to even out on the surface reducing visible brush strokes. Another advantage of the slow drying time is that it can be blended like I did on my Fogwolf FW190 and Panzer IV to achieve an airbrushed effect. Once dry and if needed, the paint can be stripped off quite easily with white spirit or turpentine. Watercolour paints can be used on models for weathering. They can be reactivated with water or a damp cotton bud, making them good for washes. Watercolour pencils can also be used for a variety of weathering effects. To make the watercolour permanent, it would need to be sealed with a coat of varnish. Gouache or post paint could be used on cardboard terrain, but otherwise it isn't of much use to modellers as it isn't hard wearing and it doesn't stick to plastic. So these next few paint types I haven't ever used, so I'm not speaking from experience, however I have tried to research this thoroughly. Oil paints are mainly used by figure painters because of their extremely slow drying time. This makes them easy to blend so soft skin tones can be achieved. They can also be used for other forms of weathering, like creating discoloration in paintwork by blending them over the top of a previous coat of paint. If they are thinned with linseed oil thinner, they are slow to dry and leave a glossy finish, but if they are thinned with white spirit, they dry faster and with a more matte finish. Only artist quality oil paint should be used although it is quite expensive. Lacquer paint is best applied with an airbrush. It's highly toxic, but dries instantly and very hard. It can then be polished to achieve a very high shine finish. The plastic must be primed with a special primer, otherwise the paint will dissolve the plastic, and special thinners and paint levelling solutions may be required. Okay, so my personal preference for brush painting scale models is to mainly use enamel paints because I think the finish you get from them is slightly better, and they're more versatile than acrylics. However, I will use acrylics for like small details that I want to get dry quickly. In the future, I think I'm going to experiment more with watercolours for weathering because I haven't really tried them yet. So anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.